These are some Dinar Guru updates starting off with Rayren 98. Iraq calls for the Al Qazimi government to remain until 2022. Iraqi political forces call for the survival of the government of Prime Minister Mustafa Al Qazimi as a caretaker until elections are held in the middle of next year. With the continued demonstrations of supporters of armed factions which lost in the early elections held on the 10th of last October in front of the Green Zone in central Baghdad. Sources who attended part of the negotiations between the political blocs of the Union revealed that the option of the al Qazimi government's survival until organizing new elections is seriously proposed. The sources indicated that al Qazimi's name is proposed in all cases to form the new government, especially by the Seder movement, which led uh, Sadr movement, which led the results of the early elections by obtaining more than 70 seats. Mark Z via PDK question, do you really think we're going to see the RV this year? Answer, yes, I really do. We have so much coming our way. Today, people are in position with a lot of appointments set up for tomorrow's big afternoon, uh, big bankers meeting tomorrow afternoon, 2 p.m. Reno time. They're telling me they hope to be setting their schedule, setting up who goes first of the people they have just come into town. This is for currency. At this point, I believe this is event-driven, and we are looking for some kind of event to happen that they can come and rescue us from. All right, Mountain Goat in December 2020, the CBI did a major devaluation of almost 22%. So when most of the news from Iraq is now talking about a revaluation, they're only talking about bringing it back to pre-December 2020 rate from the 1450 rate, but still within the program rate. This has nothing to do with the project to delete the zeros or reinstatement, which we know points the way for we want. We want a reinstatement to get off the program rate and for the IMF to announce the new SDR basket that includes five currencies of the major developed countries, including Iraq, as part of it. This is when the dinar goes international. Now, we do not go to the bank until it is international. Once reinstated on the Forex, we go to the bank and not until. They're also going to switch over to the quantum financial system, or the QFS, at as the same time. The QFS already now contains the new set of rates to adjust them according to uh, the Basel 4 asset backed. The rate of the dinar was showing $4.81 this week. Wow. All right, Frank 26, 25-page uh, PDF file from the CBI. That was given to the citizens of Iraq is a step-by-step-by-step -step -by -step of what they're doing with the monetary reform. It was given to them at a university somewhere around Basra. That was what was presented to them on their television, but not to you. The explanation of why they're raising it, uh, the dinar. Mark Z via PDK, overnight more people in place today, big meetings for logistics of exchanging groups that have currency. Here in the U.S., we have meetings in two different cities of the bankers and groups that aggregate currency this afternoon that they are getting in place. It tells us that the banks are telling them they expect it to happen very soon. Petra, the largest banking and financial summit in the world, is happening in Dubai starting the 17th to the 20th, which is this Wednesday. A lot of things are happening that are not coincidence. They're all coming to a convergence, but even more of a convergence than we thought before. They've left, they've let it, the rate change, go this long. I don't know the reason, but it seems to indicate that they want to make sure everything was all lined up and batted down correctly. It's exciting to see, and that's why we think our time is getting down to a minimum here. All right, Holly, on our blessing news, I had some great calls last night, and things are moving. We should see our movement at our level soon. Massive cleanup behind the scenes. It's always been about safety and security. We have finally achieved that. From my calls last night, we have turned the tide, and we should see things this month, depending on how things unfold this week. Progress has been made. Keep the prayers coming. 